Hi, this is Tara Moreno with ElegantFemme.com and ParisFashionSchool.com. So, I just started my final week of fashion school. It is day 22. And um, I have such mixed feelings right now. I don't want to leave. Um, and at the same time, I want to see the kids. I miss my boys. I miss Dave. But I don't want to leave. Fashion has been downloaded into my blood. So much about this industry that I had no idea even existed. And I feel like I can't get enough of it. I'm consuming it. I mean, the, the inside circle of who exists in this industry and the behind the scenes looks at um, who's creative director of what brand and what's going on with Edie Simon. It goes on and on and on. I just uh, created two um, other pieces for the collection, and uh, I just want to keep going. I'm so hungry, and at the same time, I I'm feeling a bit scared because I I want to know what to do from here. You know, my intention is to go back and to start my lingerie piece, and um, I know it would be easy to slide just away from that and I don't want to. I almost feel like I did when I first moved to France and I didn't want to leave France because I was afraid the dream would close behind me. I feel like that. Like, I want so much to stay engaged in it. So that's where I am right now. Um, and it's this, it's this piece of the desire when you're in it so much You need to trust that it'll con continue to unfold at an organic pace. And so Monday night, we have a very, very special lecture by someone who, if, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it um, publicly yet. If I, I'll find out, and if I can, I'll tell you. But he is one of the oldest producers of corsets in the entire world. And his corsets go for 10,000, 12,000 euro and up. So I'll be talking to him, um, and I'm going to have the courage to ask him where in Paris I should um, have my first small collection made. Uh, so that's where I am right now. And, um, you know, I was thinking the other day, something I want to share, is when I was in college, I was a junior in college, in between my junior and senior year, and I got an internship at Macy's. And it was an internship where we moved through all the different departments. So it went through merchandising, went through the retail aspect, went through the um, designing the window displays, went into some, some quality of merch, and you know just got a, an overall breadth of experience. Well, at the end of the internship, they offered me a job. And it just happened, timing, um, and this has been one of my um, patterns in the past. Um, I'm, I move up very quickly, and it was very successful, very fast. I was um, young, right? So I was, how old was I then? 20? About, about 20 years old, maybe 21. And um, they offered me a position to go full time at to as manager of the men's store of Macy's. There was two locations. So I became manager of the men's store. I had a huge amount of responsibility. I was closing the store. I was taking everybody's cash register. I was um, being called for customer service. I, I was in charge of the whole entire men's, um, managing the men's, all of the, the people in the men's department. A lot of pressure, I felt, for a 21-year-old. And I was so hungry then, and I loved it, but I couldn't handle the pressure. And in fact, my eating disorder really kicked up at that time. And... I ended up getting really sick and ended up leaving that position. Not in, in the most in most of integrity either. I got really sick and just kind of weaseled my way out. And I was thinking about this the other day because this field has been in me for so long. And I'm saying this because I, f I f have found that it's like that with desires. Like they show up and they don't really go away. They're in you and you might try to bury them. You might try to push them away. Um, but they're there, and this has been something within fashion and development that I've seen and wanted for so long, but I wasn't ready for it back then. I wasn't ready for the responsibility, the pressure. I was afraid that I was going to let people down, and so I stepped away from my desire. 
and I can feel a little bit of that um, coming up now and I'm conscious of it and I'm aware of it and I know now that I need to follow through in a way that I never have before. So that's where I am, open with all of you and um, we're starting to wind down here. Oh, I have some surprises next week. But I'm, I'm not going to tell you yet. I've said a lot already during this. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll talk to you tomorrow.